if you watch our last video, you know that it's been raining and raining and raining, but that we stayed at this place a couple of extra days during the rain just to get to do what we're gonna do today. Are you excited, it's be, Kurt? It's gonna be fun, I hope. You know, yesterday, it stopped raining for about two hours and we're like, oh, we should have went, but we would have gotten pounded. <laughs> so I think it was the right decision. Today, the sun actually came out, so I hope, I hope we don't get stuck out here in the pouring rain, that would not be good. Yeah, so let's go see what we're getting into, guys. What was worth waiting here for a few extra days? So it started to rain. We're going anyway. I just bought our tickets. Uh, 140 pesos for both of us. And then I had to buy a separate ticket for the camera, which was 55 pesos. So, Kurt went back to get mosquito spray. I think he's coming up right behind us. I gotta put this camera away though, cause it's raining. We you think, Forrest? <laughs> oh, I need that bug spray. I think I do. Yeah. I think it's gonna rain on us. So I think we're gonna bug spray up. I think we're gonna go see something awesome. And I don't even care that it's gonna rain. So that's the river right there. We're going up, up river. And you can see the, the rain, kind of the mist over there. Of course, it rained all day yesterday. I think we told you that, but we got all these boats. We're gonna be the only ones out there, I think. So, that's pretty cool. So we're by a river, and you guys see the boats. So you know what that means. I got the camera in a little camera bag. We are expecting rain. Yeah, we're going anyway. We're going for it. We're yeah. going in. We're gonna get uh, one of the pockets waterproofed up and we're gonna go. All right, guys, we think we saw a monkey over here. Oh, there he is. It's a little one. He's down on the bamboo. Look at him. He's a little baby monkey. But mama's around somewhere close by. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it, Snow? Yeah, he's eating the bamboo or whatever that is. Oh, yeah, look at that. There he goes. <laughs>
All right, so we just came all across our first little section of ruins here. So what's the name of this place? I can't remember right now, but <laughs> we have not told y'all, but this riverboat is not about the animals or the river itself. It's about going to some deep in the jungle, can only get to by boat, no roads go here, crazy cool Mayan ruins. Yeah. So that's what today's adventure is all about. They're gonna be our destination. Look at that jungle up in there. Ooh. You wanna get everything bundled up, Kurt, and ready? Welcome to the Mayan ruins. Guys, we just arrived at Yaxichilin, the Yaxichilin jungle ruins, Mayan ruins, and we arrived by boat. It's the only way to get here. And we're going through the jungle. It's super cool, but it was about a 45 minute boat ride up the river. And we had a nice little covering over the boat, sprinkled one time, so having the covering was kind of nice. Our guide was really good. We saw a couple little families of monkeys. We saw some birds and just the views of the jungle was really sort of from the river was pretty awesome. And as you guys know by now, snow loves getting out in the water. So, whoa. But it's been rainy as you guys well know. And it's slick out here. And it's slick. Let's see if we can make it without busting our butts. So let's go check out these ruins. That's too short. To get it all right First time around You better not mess up One be born again I want a second chance Cause this time around So there's the river. So we saw these ruins coming up. But look how beautiful this is, guys. And right up in this tree is a huge family of monkeys. I don't know, there's gotta be 20 of them up there. And they jump between these two big trees right here. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say other than it's just amazing, guys. Part of the bird jaguar four period 752 to 772 the square building has two parallel vaulted passageways inside at first it was built with only three entrances but in a later remodeling two small rooms were added on its north side the three lintels over the original entrances are all carved on the front face. The main subjects being the bird jaguar four. Few of 
ancient Mexico's constructions have a function so specific as do the ball courts, which range from plain and small to complex and monumental in size. This is an open type structure with two parallel platforms which give the playing field its form. There are three markers to top it and three others on its sloped sides. Entrance to the northwest platform is over a monumental stairway rising from the Great Plaza. Yet no clear entrance elements are present at the southeast one since it holds annexes such as sweat houses. Important for a game which ritualized the opposition between day and night, good and evil, and life and death. This does not exclude, however, the possibility that ball games were merely sporting events for entertainment. And then meanwhile, up ahead, you got these little monkeys crawling around just everywhere. So cool. I'm fixing to go up these steep, steep stairs, ancient stairs right here. <laughs> and there's monkeys above. It looks like they're dropping stuff, so I gotta be careful. But I'm going up these things. So, up the stairs, this is the Grand, or I'm sorry, the Great Acropolis. It's pretty cool. It looks like I'm gonna be able to go inside. And then up there, I gotta go see what that is, but it looks cool too. This thing was constructed in 752 AD. I just spotted a toucan up in that tree. I spotted him flying into it. But I don't think I have a shot of him. But there was two toucans. Ah, oh, they're so hard to get on camera. I assure you they're there. And you know me, I'm not going to give up.
right, guys, on top of the shrine, you can see some sort of Mayan sculpture that's kind of eroded. Snow's down there. It started pouring down rain up here. But I spotted a toucan right there. I was trying to film him. But you can see movement in the tree. But actually, I got a little footage of him, but it's all washed out. So we'll see how it looks. Maybe like the other one, but my lens is drenched. Snow looks drenched. So I think it's time to get out of here. So guys, these are our first ruins since the COVID. So we were coming down through Hidalgo in the middle of the state, just north of Mexico City. And the COVID warnings came in and they actually started shutting stuff down. And so we were at Arroyo at that time and they actually closed it while we were there. So we had to leave and we haven't been to Arroyo since. But I got to tell you, this place is amazing. It's in the jungle. It just started to pour down rain. So you can probably hear that in the background. Just saw a toucan, monkeys playing all over in the jungle in the trees beautiful beautiful gorgeous setting and then these amazing ruins dating all the way back to i think 700 a.d just a place you absolutely have to go but if you're going to go there if you're going to come here you got to go by boat so anyway speaking of boats we're going to head back to the boat it's been fun i hope you guys enjoyed it uh yeah we'll see when we get back to the van they say you only have two hours here. We don't know what happens at the end of the two hours, but this is the kind of place where like giant boulders come rolling out like Indiana Jones stuff. Like booby traps are gonna get set off. So Kurt, let's go make that two hour deadline. Yeah, plus the <laughs> mosquitoes out here are nothing to play with. No. We need to put another layer of uh, <laughs> mosquito spray on. Cheers guys. Time to go. Stormy weather, weary eyes, hope to make it. You guys hear that? There's big howlers. Those things are beasts. Anyway, we just left the ruins and uh, we're a few paces, paces back from sort of where we get back on the boat. So, probably see up there. Unless we see another toucan. We just got back from the jungle boat ride down the river and getting to walk around those amazing, crazy cool, crazy old Mayan ruins. We were hungry and thirsty. We stopped at the first restaurant we saw, which happens to be here where we're camping. And we're gonna have a sandwich, we're gonna shower, and then we were we are out of here and headed to Palenque. Palenque. So we're fixed to be on the move, but this place was well worth hanging out here a few days because of all the rain. Right, Kurt? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right, Kurt? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> if you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, 
subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind-the-scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.